So one of the unique things about programming in Tickle is that everything is a string, or rather everything has a string representation. Shimmering is a phrase used in Tickle programming to describe the effect when you constantly are switching between interpreting data as multiple different data types. So if you try to interpret something as a string and then interpret it as a list and back and forth, it's going to constantly have to switch gears between these two different data types. So you have a lot of performance problems when you do that. Let me demonstrate. So here I have a little sample script. Um, so I have a couple lists here, digits, alpha, digits are zero through nine, alpha is A through Z. And so first I'm going to parse these as lists. So I'm gonna get the length of digits and I'm gonna time it. So I'm gonna time it 10,000 times, see how long it takes per iteration. And then I'm going to take the length of, of alpha and then do that to see what the difference is for a longer list. Um, and then I'm gonna do the same thing for the string, the string length. So I'll show what the speed is for that. Then the shimmering, here's where I'm going to switch between taking the list length and the string length and do that 10,000 times as well. If there was no effect from shimmering, then you would expect the time to be the combination of the taking the list length and taking the string length. So let's see what it does. So as you can see, list length was 10 for digits and it took 0.163 microseconds per iteration. And then for alpha is 26 and ticked about the same amount of time. Same thing with string length, 1951, not really much of a difference uh, with the time to do it. But shimmering, you'll see that it's much more than the combination of the two and it gets worse as the list length gets longer. So it actually looks like it's approximately linear uh, in growth, which makes sense because the process to generate a list is going to be linear in time because it has to step through all of the elements of the list. If you're programming any sort of algorithm in uh, Tickle or in OpenSeas and you're concerned about performance, make sure that you keep in mind what the internal data types of your variables are and try not to switch between different representations uh, if you can help it.